Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, we will have some interesting change coming up to Microsoft Edge uh, starting in the month of March. So I've often praised the Microsoft Edge uh, browser for how good it is as a PDF reader and for the most part and for most people it's the only thing you ever need to read PDFs. You don't need extra Adobe readers and things like that. So basically what happens is that a agreement was actually done between Microsoft and Adobe. And that means that starting in March, the Adobe PDF reader will be the engine that Adobe uses will be embedded within the PDF reader of Microsoft. Now that could be good news for some people because I know that even though most PDFs open correctly, some of you have had issues with PDFs and have had issues with um, actually having them open correctly, depending on the type of PDF that you have. So this might actually make the compatibility much better and uh, make sure that even if you had trouble in the past, it should be okay starting in March, should work much better. And that would also add some new features that they will actually implement within the PDF reader in Edge. This will be good for Windows 10 and 11. So even Windows 10 will have the new PDF reader uh, engine inside of Edge. So that means that both Windows 10 and Windows 11 will be uh, having that update and that uh, probably better compatibility. So um, this will be all handled inside the Microsoft Edge browser. And uh, the new PDF reader will be also added in stages uh, for IT um, reasons, for IT departments. The other thing also that's nice is that PDFs can sometimes be a problem for security. So by having it in Edge, if you update your Edge browser all the time, you will probably have also the latest uh, PDF reader that will be available. And uh, so the security problems will not be there. I've seen too many people having Adobe Reader in their PCs, but never updating it. And that can be a security hazard as PDFs are one of the ways that sometimes malware or, you know, take over your PC can actually happen. So that's starting in March for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 in the Microsoft Edge browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.